The Vermont State Employees Association waving the red flag tonight. The union that represents corrections officers and staff are unhappy with their working conditions right now, writing a letter to the governor demanding change. NBC 5's John Hawks has more on this story from Bright River Junction. The Vermont State Employees Association represents around 800 corrections, probation, and parole officers, along with some of the administration staff for the Department of Corrections. They're unhappy with how short-staffed the department is and how many hours they're working because of it. Over the last five years, the staffing crisis in the Department of Corrections has been growing and it has been unaddressed by politicians until it reaches a crisis point. Our members are exhausted. They've been working 16-hour shifts. They wrote a letter to Governor Phil Scott asking for a meeting with him to improve working conditions. We cannot ask uh, the men and women on the front lines to um, hold this system together much longer. And we need uh, the governor as the leader of the state to tell these men and women face to face, which is why we called for the meeting, when this will end. In a statement from the Scott administration, they say that they're going to respond to the letter before talking to the press. And quote, our administration is always happy to engage with hardworking employees on how to improve conditions at the workplace. Administration officials work with union leadership regularly and are easy to contact directly. The union is worried that these low staffing levels are going to continue to get worse as more frontline workers burn out, saying that some of the parole officers haven't had a day off in months. They also say that the pay isn't high enough and that unless something is done, it could be dangerous to the community. The problem here is that there hasn't been enough dedicated, um, urgent um, uh, attention to this issue from the person at the top of the administration. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's got to change. He's got to address this because people have really reached their limit. In Montpelier, John Hawks, NBC5 News. Now, NBC5 News did reach out to the Department of Corrections about these issues. We are still waiting for their response.